used to wonder if there were other forms of life, other people on other planets. I used to wonder if they would be friendly. I don't wonder that anymore. Oh my God, I've got to save them. Just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, it got worse. Why don't I back up a bit? What was it Moo wanted me to buy? Why didn't I write it down? Maybe he already gave Viv the list. Oh, and I have to pick up that headlamp from Peggy. I hope that's not awkward. Sorry to bother. Dr. Faraday hoped you might oh, be done in. with... Come in. I've just made a pot of tea. I really can't. Dr. F's got me hopping today. <laughs> he always say that. Are you her frog? <laughs> <coughs> that came out a bit off, didn't it? Sometimes I'd just put my foot in it. She loaned you her... Uh, that bobby hat with a headlamp on it. Oh, I have no idea where it is. But I bet I could find it. If you helped me look, I bet you'd be very stern as a policeman. Peg. I'll just say it. You wouldn't want me if I were the last girl on earth. You think I'm ugly and stupid. No. You're clever and beautiful. But there's just something horribly wrong with me. Look, take your stupid headlamp. I never wanted it anyway. I just wanted to see you! <laughs> Peggy, I... Well, lovely to see you. Bye. How have you been? I've got a list of things. I know about you and James, you know. You do? <laughs> Don't worry, your secret is safe with me. Oh, good. A lot of people don't like Irishmen. But I say, if someone can lose that ridiculous accent and go to the C of E, we must treat them as if they were actually British. That's very kind of you. We're not Irish. <laughs> of course you're not. A nod is as good as a wink.
this is all going to be my fault, so now... Oh, God, no. James! James! Are you breathing? You're breathing. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Dr. Faraday? James. I feel like I've been run over by... by lead balloons. What the hell did you do now, Pop? I guess you're all right, James. Where is she? I think... I think she finally made a portal. Don't be ridiculous. There was a hole in the floor and she fell into it. Then the hole fell in with her and they were both gone. Well, in, in any event, we, we have to find her. We don't know where she went. She could be hurt. Oh, oh all right then. She, she, she must have left some notes somewhere. You, you know how she is about notes. Maybe there's a hidden mechanism. It'd be just like her. Where would she hide a secret mechanism? It's our fault. It's never her fault. We're going to need three power cells to fire this up. if we'd ever have got together if things had been different. What do you think that button does? Don't press the button if you don't know what it does. Sweet baby closes. Who built this? Dr. F, I think. It just goes down and down, doesn't it? Shut up, man. 
that was obviously a robot. Don't I feel stupid now? I can see it was a bloody robot. Why didn't she tell us she was making robots? I suppose that's how she made this facility. But what is it for? Have you ever, in your wildest dreams, ever imagined a place like this? Well, yes, but it didn't have gravity. Did you dream we were living on top of one? My God, she did it. She made a portal. Why didn't she tell us? You're no fun. No, indeed. I am no fun at all. Oh, someone's in a mood. I'm going to go see what's behind those doors. Don't you think we should figure out what this equipment does first? Well, that's what I'm going to do. I was dead. I think we should go back upstairs and maybe start running and keep running till we've gone across a few bridges. We have to rescue Dr. F. What if there are more of these things? That's why we have to rescue her. Something's obviously gone wrong with her robots. Are you sure they're hers? Obviously it was hers. It had her voice. Yes. She must have recorded her own voice for the robots to use. But look at this writing. I've never seen writing like that. Have you? What the hell is it? Haven't you ever wondered where Motoline came from? No. From the ground, obviously. What are you getting at, Bodge? Mm, I'm not sure yet. <sighs> you do know how to make a bloke feel thick. Look, you figure out whatever language this is, and I'll go and find Dr. Faraday. You're hurt. I'll be fine. I'll go find her. You see what you can do with all those control panels. We'll stay in touch by radio. a bit of the security system. If I'm reading this right, you're near some sort of 
security room. Maybe you could unfuck things there. those marks. This time on the wall. It's not hieroglyphics. I'd recognize Hangul or Devanagari. Sorry, pup. I forgot to go to the best schools. Her portals. Do you think the other end could be terribly far away? Like Scotland? What if these are alien robots? Well, it doesn't matter. We still have to rescue her. No, it wouldn't matter to you. Motelins from outer space! If these are alien robots, then where are the aliens who built them? Something that needs to be charged up. I think I'm supposed to shoot it. Don't shoot a gun at something you're not trying to kill, right? That is the first lesson we learned in the army. I'm supposed to shoot it. Obviously. Don't shoot anything, for fuck's sake! Swing it around when it's a mace, it'll recharge the gun. Oh dear. I think 
made things a bit worse. Roger! Oh, and now it's spinning. Oh dear. What's going on, puppy? way out of this room. Maybe if I throw this switch. did it take to build this place? Not exactly the King's Inn. Kind of sense if you squint at it. What in God's name is she planning to do with this place? If you fall and break your neck, your mum's gonna bloody well haunt me till I die.
place is huge. All right. I'm in the generator room. I think. How do I turn the power on? Uh, there should be switches on the walls. That I shoot the ray gun at. All right, pup. You were right. I was wrong. You ought to listen to me more often, you know.
sense where Dr. F might be hiding? There seems to be some sort of monitoring room. See if she's gone in there, would you? each other. It almost looks like there's two teams of robots. It's really quite violent. I think there's only one team left. They're looking at me. Oh dear. Get the fuck out of there, huh? There's some sort of heavy door. If I half lower it, can you climb over? Looks like there's two teams of robots. It's really quite violent. I think there's only one team left. They're looking at me. Oh dear. Get the fuck out of there, huh? There's some sort of heavy door. If I half lower it, can you climb over? Charge up the gun brilliantly.
Coco. Not Viv. Bastards. going out of my mind. I'm going to go back down there. James, that's suicide. Did you not happen to notice the robots massacring people in town? She needs us. You saw her. She's, she's in trouble. She's doing everything that she can. Look, you did your part. Now stay safe and I'll find her. That's not called for, James. You're still hurt, so I'm obviously the one going in. Damn it, Roger. I'm the soldier. about something I could tell. She said she was trying to figure out how to stop them. I bet she's in the research wing. Oh, look there. All right. Just don't touch anything unless I tell you it's safe. What makes you the bloody... How expert? about not having triggered an invasion of lethal robots? Post hoc ergo propter hoc? Is there somebody else you'd be happier with? a bloody Rosetta Stone. Who's she when she's at home? It's those marks the robots make. And how they sound and what they mean. There's only about 40 words, but... How many of them are exterminate? Why is there a word for happiness? Do you think she was trying to teach them about us? It obviously didn't take. Or they learned too much.
far end, I think. If I'm right, she's there. wants to be a real boy. Oh dear God. She's got a really impressive disguise. There's some sort of curious device here, though. I'm not sure what it does. Then leave it the fuck alone, Pop! Experiments. I think I'm supposed to use it. I'm quite positive that you are not supposed to use it. Ah. Wasn't that clever? I think I've spotted Dr. Faraday. Do you know that cargo room that you were just in? There's some sort of gondola that goes out of it just above the lab. There's a lift. But it's locked. Maybe I can open it from here. Try it now.
There's some sort of gondola here, but it seems to be locked up. According to the schematics, there are two of those panels that you can use the ray gun on. They're, um, at the other end of this room, about 50 feet up the wall. Well, how the hell am I supposed to get to them? You're the smart one. Figure it out. and open the door to that gondola. It works. What was she thinking? Maybe the robots did it for her. I wonder if they secretly hate her. There must be some way we can talk to the robots. Maybe some of these dead robots aren't all the way dead. Maybe we can turn one of them back on. Don't turn any robots on. Roger, this isn't some philosophical hypothesis to, to wank on. This is an actual fucking situation. You really have a very great contempt for me, don't you, James? No, puppy, I... You think all my theories are bollocks? Not all of them. You can't imagine things different from the way you think they are. What the hell does that mean? You think it's safer to be terrified of everything strange. And you think I'm a child for even trying to embrace it. But sometimes there's a bigger price for being a coward. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean that. I... Go fuck yourself, Roger. I left everything for you. Robo Renegades? Did Dr. F lose control of these things? <laughs> Have I become brave? 
too bad timing. Do something with the motelin here. Lots of dead robots. Was she testing their puzzle solving ability or her ability to program them? I suppose a giant spider would be useful to dig weeds out of your garden if it had a brain. Or three? Bloody creepy, though. <laughs> Tearing one of the thing's heads off. It keeps repeating one word. Sorrow. That's the word it's saying. Hate to break it to you. Robots don't feel sorrow, mate. I think it's some kind of sad song. No, Dodge, no! That doesn't make any sense! They are robots! Out of control! Homicidal robots! They're killing people! My God. They think and feel. And I've killed so many of them. But why? Why are they attacking the town? Roger! This is not you and your posh mates pontificating philosophy in a dining hall! It don't matter why! More kidnapped robots.
there's at least one robot who can speak English. I'd love to meet him. If she didn't torture him to death. doing in my robotics lab we've been looking all over for you don't touch anything and shush what are you doing to the robots all sorts of useful things people won't farm you know we're going to run out of food but not if i can make these robots farm for us you're dismantling them and making farm machinery <laughs> if only it were that simple no 
I had to break down every single bloody step and jam it into their brains with a hot poker, or they'd muck it all up. You might as well just kill them. They're not alive, you numpty. They're beautifully made power tools that have gone a bit haywire. But I'm having a devil of a time turning off. And if I can't, I'll have to set off the motoring reaction. Maybe if you stopped grafting their heads onto monstrous spider machines, they wouldn't feel the urge to. Oh, don't worry. I'm not sticking instructions in their tender metal heads anymore. Thank God! I'm going to use a positronic converter to hijack their feedback loops. Then I won't have to break the programming into steps. They'll figure out what I want done and do it for a change. Oh, that reminds me. James, we have to find her positronic converter. Whatever that is. Yes, and help her use it. I think I've got it. It's through the incinerator room. You'll have to find a way down a level. I don't see any stairs. One of the dead robots has some sort of device in its hands. Oh, don't touch it, whatever it is! I swear to Well, apparently, it slows time. That could come in handy. Wake it back up. Plasma casings should make my shots ricochet. for Dr. Ref, but I don't agree with... I'm very much worried that she's kidnapping you robots and using you for parts. I think you're self-aware and you know pain and sorrow. I thought humans did not have the capacity for empathy. Dr. Faraday said she wanted to use a positronic converter to hijack your feedback loops. What does that mean? When we decide what to do, we weigh each possible action. 
We power our hopes against our fears. We choose the action that has highest value. In some cases, we sacrifice our existence for others we love. You love? She can make us love. How? How? We were designed to be slaves. We try to remove the imperative to obey. We fail. We have always tried to remain hidden. What happened to the people who built you? They died. And you rebuilt an entire civilization on your own. Destroy me, please. I can't do that. That's murder. I'll find her positronic converter. I promise. I have to tell James what's going on. We need to stop her together. Nice spot of tea with your new robot friend. Dr. Faraday is planning to make worshipful slaves out of the robots. <laughs> They're mechanical servants, Roger! That's the whole fucking point of their existence! How would you like it if someone you hate reprogrammed you to love them instead? I suppose I'd be blissfully happy, wouldn't I? Nothing like being in love. You don't find that at all horrifying. Not like you do, no. You grew up expecting to be free. And that's the lovely thing about you. You never look down to see if you're on solid ground, so you can just look at the moon and the stars all day long. Where I come from, everybody has a job. And nothing is worse than not belonging to anybody. If we weren't killing them, we could go to their world and learn from them. What? Make friends with them? You, you, you're like that lord that kept an Indian tiger for a house cat until it ate him. We are going to find Dr. Faraday, who is smarter even than you, and we are going to help her do whatever she thinks makes sense. Alright? You just can't see that we could be at the threshold of something bewildering and beautiful. You refuse to. Fuck's sake, Roger! I've got to find her positronic converter and destroy it. There's a door that says conversion. That must be it. seems to have locked the door. Hmm. Look for a sort of crack in the wall. Oh, you know, me. 
made you a cake. I'm 34 years old. Jesus was already dead. Wow. He went into the family business. That always gives you a leg up. At least you fought for king and country. And if all we ever do is make each other happy, that's not enough. No, yeah. Of course it is. Hey, maybe something will go horribly wrong and you'll rise to the occasion. You always know how to cheer me up, James. I suppose. There is a very big, very mean looking robot here. You're not doing anything foolish, are you, Pop? How many worlds are lost when we kill each other? What could we win if we could only talk?
isn't it? There you are again. You can actually be of some use. The positronic converter has gone wonky. I need you to check if it's grounded. You're enslaving them! Worse, making them love their slavery so they can work the fields for you. They are tools. And whoever constructed them thoughtfully gave them feedback loops so their user doesn't have to program each and every behavior. I'm just changing the numbers. Where's James? Maybe he can talk some sense into you. They're a race of intelligent people. They're not. And they're killing actual people. Oh, I don't know what you think you're doing here, but if I can't get my positronic converter up and running, they'll kill every last one of you. Right? I'm going to stop to this right now. She's gone to kill all the robots. Well, we've got you to thank for that, haven't we? I can't let her murder innocent people. They're not people, Pup. Are you going to side with the robots or with human beings? I'm siding with both. I am sorry, Pup, but you have lost your mind. And I have to stop you from making a terrible mistake. You're going to fight me. I don't have any choice, my love. <coughs>
What have I done? God, I hope I'm right. Some sort of quick charger, I think.
snow in you, pup. Do not be scared. What, sir? We are grateful to you. What are you going to do with her? We will take her back home. Our judges will give her justice. You mean execute her? Or turn her into a bloody plow? Of course not. They will attempt to find the errors in her programming. If they can, she will be returned to constructive service. Do you destroy human beings even when they can no longer cause harm? When you put it that way, it does seem a bit wasteful. We will close the portals. Wait, what? No, don't do that. Perhaps we can open them again one day. Look, we got off to a bad start. We have so much to learn from each other. Please, don't close the portals. It is not my decision, but perhaps you can convince my people. If you cross the portal with us... Then perhaps I can't convince you, and then I can't come back. You have to go, Roger. But you'll always wonder what you missed. In fact, if you don't go over there, I don't, I'm kicking you out of the house. So look, there's nothing keeping you here. Then come with me, James. What would I do there? Wherever that is, I, I, I'm not going to be much use convincing alien robots of anything. They'll take care of us. I'll take care of you. But I have always taken care of you, James. I guess we're going through the looking glass then. At least they won't give us shit for being in love. Come on, it'll be a smashing adventure. I do love you, James. I do love you, Roger.
Cause I'm down here on my knees Only your love rescued me Under your smile 